Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. Uh, so today isn't necessarily like a design space tutorial. Um, it, we will delve into that, but it's more of going over um, how I choose an image to do an off the map project and then also how big can I make that image. So here is a really good comparison between these two files. And it's, it's a little bit unfair, I will admit, because this is the aerial that I did I want to say two years ago. Um, uh, I hated it because, you know, there's there's certain characters where <sighs> there's one color that just dominates the whole image, right? And in this one, it's her hair. There's nothing that I can do about her hair. She's got a ton of red hair, right? So when I originally did this two years ago, there were just a bazillion seams right in this area. So what I did was I worked with an SVG designer and I told her what I wanted. I said, look, I know she's got a lot of issues with her hair. Can we make it into separate pieces? Like um, in the original image, you see like the, the um, like this top part of her hair is its own piece, right? This little piece right here is just a random piece by itself. And then this piece is by itself. So like, can we add more pieces where it looks natural? And I liked what she did. So if you notice what, what she did here was this piece is now, it ends right here. So it's this is one piece, this is another piece, which allows us to not have any seams and still just use 12 by 12 cardstock paper. Um, we still have this piece here, but look at all the additional pieces we have down here. We've got this one that is single by itself. And when a piece is narrow, you can actually, if you rotate the piece diagonally, right, just mathematically, you have a longer, you know, your diagonal is, is longer than your two sides, right? So like, um, I know, I, I love it whenever I can add math to crafting, but if you think of a right angle, a right triangle, um, if one side is three inches, this side is four inches, the diagonal is actually five inches, right? So you get that extra in the hypotenuse. <laughs> so same thing here is when you have a slender piece, instead of cutting it like straight across, if you put it to the diagonal, you can actually go more than 12 inches. So that's what I love about this piece is it's kind of thin and long, which means I can take advantage of that diagonal piece. This is another separate piece, and then this is another separate piece. So this, this image is so much better than this original image because at a certain point, um, without making it gigantic and adding more seams, this one can be seamless at a much bigger, um, uh, a much uh, longer length than this one could ever be without seams, okay? So that's one. Um, let me show you another one. I'm gonna still use Arial. So I'm gonna go to images and I'm gonna do baby toddler Arial right here. This one you can make really, really big because what you wanna do when you do an off the map project or what you wanna kind of think of in your head, if you wanna use uh, 12 by 12 cardstock. I like to just round and, and think of 10, right? So if each, if I can segment three different places, then each place can be 10 inches. So right away, my project can be 30 inches without any problems. And when I mean segmented, I mean like this. She's got her face, she's got her upper body, um, the lower half is actually segmented into two more spots, right? So we've got uh, calves, we got thighs, upper body, face, and even hair. So in this case, Ariel could probably easily be, um, if we wanna talk about that, like 10, 20, 30, 40 inches, right? Um, which technically, because we can go more than 10 inches, 10 is just helping us keep it nice and round and easy to do our math. But then if you're at 40 inches, you can probably go 44 inches 
without a problem, right? Because 44 is just 11 inches times each one of those segments. So you could easily go up to 48 inches, which is four feet, right? So it's kind of just using all of that. And, and even here, like if you look at her skirt, her skirt is in pleats, right? So that means each one of these pieces isn't gonna be 10 inches. You, I mean, it can be so big, right? And then you have her legs, but her legs are actually, you have a little section of shoes. So each piece, if you kind of, you know, uh, talk about how big it is uh, or how big it can be, this can be a really, really big piece. And I'm actually, um, no, I'm not gonna make Ariel, I'm gonna make Belle. Uh, so I won't be doing this one, I'm, and I've never done this one, but we could talk about how big it can be. So how to determine how big your project can be. I always look at the piece that looks to be the biggest. Um, or um, if there is a piece that is, if it's her face, her face can only be 11 and a half inches because if you make it any bigger, there's gonna be a slice on that light color cardstock, which is most of the time light color, right? I'm sorry, I feel like I have like, something just bit me. <laughs> um, okay, uh, her face, whatever character, I shouldn't say her face, it could be his face. Um, typically, I don't use glitter cardstock for the face, so it doesn't matter the skin tone. Any, almost any character you, do not want to seam in the face because it's so distracting. I mean, first of all, the face is what identifies the character for the most part. And it's central, it's a cute face, but when there's a seam anywhere, it doesn't have to be in the middle of the face, but just that there's a seam in the face, it's really, really distracting. It's super distracting um, with light color cardstock, like super, super distracting. So if you have like a light color like Ariel, um, any seam on her face will be, you just can't take your eyes off of it. It's not worth it. So um, I either look for the longest piece or I look at her face and I say, all right, let's make her face 11 and a half inches. So like, let's try this one, okay? So I'm gonna go and just immediately put her height at 48 inches because I think we can do that. I'm gonna delete these two just so that we can clear up the screen. Okay. So let's see at 48 inches, I'm now going to isolate the face, okay? So I'm in the skin color um, image piece <laughs> and I'm gonna go to contour. And right now, I'm really just trying to figure out my sizing. So I'm just gonna hide all, I wanna see how much the face, you know, how big is the face right now? All right, so the face is, why is it doing that? It's like, so weird. Okay, sorry. The face right now is 11.3 by 10.1. It's actually, this is probably the right. We could probably make her just a little bit bigger and um, I'll show you what I mean. Because we're close, right? 11.39, technically you can cut, what, 11 and a half by 11 and a half. We're really, I mean, we're only 0.11 of an inch away from that uh, limit, but technically, you can cut 12 inches with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. You're going from top edge to bottom edge. So let's see if we can actually stretch this to like a round hole number of 50. Uh, let's see how big her face is and I'll show you what that would look like. Okay, actually at 50 inches, her face, technically we could still cut with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So I'm going to, um, you know what, let's ungroup everything and I'm just gonna show you this piece because <clears throat> I wanna make sure that you're on board before we go with the rest of the, before we check everything else. So here I'm gonna ungroup and I'm actually going to delete everything but her face, okay? Because I wanna go to the make it screen so I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so her face is 11.8 by 10.5. It Design space is going to let me cut it under the circumstance that I'm gonna use bigger than a 12 by 12 mat and that my material is more than 12 inches long. But here's the trick. So you are gonna go to make it. 
and you can use a 12 by 12 mat, but um, I do prefer my 12 by 24 mats. Uh, Cricut is having a sale right now, so you can definitely buy it on sale. I always buy it in bulk. When it's on sale, it ends up being the best purchase for mats. Okay, so there's a couple things we can do here. We could technically cut it like this. So you see at the top, they never let us cut all the way to zero, zero, right? Like this top portion is never cut. So that gives us a quarter of an inch right here. So in this case, it goes past the 12 inch line just a little, right? So I would use a regular 12 by 12 mat. I would put my paper going past the 12 inch mark. So it's going to go just a little bit to cover this ear. And then I'm just gonna click, okay, I'm fine with you. I know you say that I need a larger mat, but I'm actually okay. My paper is gonna go past the 12 inch line and that's okay because nothing is getting cut in this top quarter of an inch anyway. If you really wanted to play it safe, like what I was talking about with the diagonal is you can rotate this probably a little bit more and look, now we don't even have to gamble with that 12 by 12, right? <clears throat> when we rotate this, this is under 11 inches. So it's totally fine. In fact, that makes me think that we can go way bigger than 50 inches. So let's cancel this. Let's determine how big we can actually make this. So let's go back to images. We're gonna bring her back in. I was being too safe at 50 inches, right? All right, so let's bring her back in and let's make her, I'm gonna try for 55 inches, okay? So let me get rid of this face. I'm gonna click on this and change the height to 55 inches. So 55 inches is what? Four feet, oh my God, four feet, seven inches. So four and a half feet. All right, this is pretty big. I mean, that's like, that's taller than my daughter right now who's six, almost seven. Okay, so 55 inches. Um, let's look at the face. So we're gonna go to the face, we're gonna go to contour, and right now we're only concerned about the face. Everything else we can kind of still mess around with. Um, so I'm gonna hide all. Okay, so the face is, how big? The face is 13 inches by 11.635. All right, I'm gonna ungroup this. So let's grab this, ungroup it. Grab the face, I'm gonna move it over. Why is it not moving? Oh, it's still not ungrouped. Let me ungroup it. Good Lord. Come on, face. Do you see what I'm seeing? <laughs> I'm trying to get to this face. All right, let's see if it'll let me move it. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. So, um, we can unlock it. Let's see, we can move it a little bit. Yep, 11.3 by 10.9. Technically, it could be a little bit bigger, but this is where we're gonna run into problems. We're gonna run into problems with her hair. We're gonna need to slice some a little bit. So what we could do is we can see this is a piece of its own. This right here is a big piece. So, but worst case scenario, I would give her a part right here so we can break that up. Um, let's see if we have any issues anywhere else. So right now, what did we make her? 55 inches, okay. So at 55 inches, let's go back to contour and let's make sure that her legs aren't an issue or her, or any other part of the skin is an issue. Oh, her arm might be an issue, let's see. 10 and a half by 10.2, awesome. Let's go to contour. Let's just double check that her legs aren't an issue. So this is the longer leg. Let's get rid of the arm. Let's see how long is the leg. Um, here's the leg. All right, the leg is 12.4 by 8.83. So that's a problem, but 
you know I'm gonna rotate it some more let's see if we can make this yep 11.5 by 9 by 10 inches so skin totally good that means all these other pieces are going to be good because look they're all in sections anyway so now her hair is going to be the only problem and it's only going to be a problem in this piece right here because that looks gigantic and this piece everything else should be fine so this is what i want to do i'm going to duplicate it and we're just going to isolate the hair really quickly um okay so on this one i'm going to contour so i'm actually not going to do this image because we've done I've done many of these I really want to show you like all the problem areas so this is one big piece right so let's see how big this piece is yeah 14.4 by 18.7 that's gigantic all right our next piece we're going to contour we're going to give leave just the top portion right here so I'm going to hide all I want this piece I don't want this piece let's see how big this piece is 17 inches by 12.5. So these are definitely our problem pieces. Now, if you, you would still have a problem if you had, um, if you use 12 by 24 cardstock, I think you could get away with it. So let me unlock it for a second. Let's twist this a little bit and see what we have. We're getting there. I don't think I can do very much with this. Yeah. So this is a problem because no matter what, it's too wide. So what I would do with this one is I would extend one of these like little cuts and just make it look like it's another piece of hair, just like these two pieces, that these two pieces are separated. Um, so let's do this. Let's go to text. And this is one of my favorite tips. Um, it's the font is called I Love Glitter, and you can find it on dafont.com. Okay, so it's a free font. Download it. The character that you want to use is it's the square bracket. It's to the right of the letter P on your keyboard. Okay, and this is what this character looks like. Um, let me see if I can get there. Okay, here we go. So it's this like little squiggly thing, right? So what I want to do is I want to make the width of this comparable to like one of these like little lines. So I think a little bit thinner. Okay, that looks, right? That looks like the same. So what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate this because we're going to need to do that down here as well. So I'm going to move that aside. I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to turn it. Um, oops. Oh my gosh. There it is. Okay. Oh my God, why won't it move? Okay, you're seeing this, right? Okay, let me grab this again. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to rotate it. And I kind of want it. So the reason why I like this little squiggly line is because it, um, it kind of mimics these curves, right? These parts are never straight up and down like you would use a rectangle. Um, well, that sounded so weird, a rectangle. Um, so I wanna stick it in where it feels kind of natural like that. Um, I feel like this needs to be just a little bit thinner. Make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so I'm gonna now grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. And now her hair is gonna look like she has a part, a side part, which is totally natural. <clears throat> and then it will make your hair seamless, okay? See? So it's got like a little bit of a curve and then now this is her hair that totally to me looks very natural it's not straight like a stick right so let's go to contour we're now going to separate the pieces so now this piece is oh this piece is still too big 12 and a half by 12 and a half that's not what i wanted oh oh wait 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 no, that's still not good. 
I mean, no, that's still too big. All right, you can do another one. You have to, I know it's too big. And we, she's freaking four and a half feet tall. <laughs> Her hair has got to be in multiple pieces. I would do, you know, probably another one right here. And so she's just got like little pieces of it. But you can see how we would do it, right? On this. So let's get rid of this. So now that you know how to do it, right? So now on this guy, I think what I want to do is, and you can always unlock this to make it thinner and longer right that kind of fits there and you can do something like i want it to be more more natural there well that's not a good curve um i don't love that i kind of want it right here so let me see what I can do. Maybe I'll take this little piece. Like that. Yeah. Ah, hold on, let me undo that. I hate when I move things around and then I realize like, oh, I hit the X key instead of turning it. There, I think that's what I want. Okay, so, um, hold on. Let's rotate this a little bit more. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. This piece, I don't need this little piece over here, so I'm gonna go to contour, get rid of that tail. I think this is the tail that I don't want. No, this is what I don't want. I'm so confused. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's grab these two items and slice and hope that I can use the diagonal and get this on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Oh, that looks good, right? That looks very, very natural to me. Um, okay, so let's get rid of this. I'm a little nervous though, because I think the hair is still too big. Um, let's duplicate it and go to contour to separate it and see what we have here. But I mean, the point isn't really this piece should, I mean, she doesn't need to be four and a half inches, four, four and a half feet, right? She can be smaller. She could be four feet and look amazing. Um, so, but it was more of just like an exercise to show you how I would do, um, like to figure out how big she can be. So where, no, let's see. This is top. Oh, this fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. All right. Let's look at this one. Let's get rid of that thinner piece and look at the big piece and see what we have here. All right, we're gonna get rid of that. We've got this long piece. This piece is long. Let's see. Yeah, this piece is too long. There's nothing we can do about this piece. The only thing we can do is I would probably, there's two things. You can slice it right here where it's at its thinnest so no one would, people would notice less or I would continue on this cut up here and just have multiple pieces. Or the best thing to do is probably cut her down to four feet. So let's go back. I'm going to, let's select all, delete. Cause we're doing a lot of things, right? Like we're make, making it really complicated for ourselves when in fact we could probably make her at 48 inches and not even not even have to do anything. So, well, let's check it out. <laughs> let's see what happens when we make her at 48 inches. And that's kind of the other thing is, um, I know I talk about this all the time, but when I did Jasmine an inch shorter than myself in real life, that was such a pain in the ass. And I was like, why? I mean, I know I wanted to try it, but 
if I had done her at four feet instead of five feet one inch, um, my life would have been so much easier. <laughs> so, okay, uh, we know her face is good. We know everything about her skin is good. The only thing we don't know is her hair, right? So let's duplicate the hair and move it over and let's see what we have, okay. So we really are just concerned with these two pieces, right? So let's duplicate the hair again and then just contour so we can see what we have to work with. We know that the rest of Ariel is going to be seamless at four feet. Let's see how seamless we can make her hair. So, oh, she's already so close at 12.6 by 16. I, I would almost slice it right here and if you're going to use red glitter cardstock i would probably slice it at its thinnest part which is right here you wouldn't even notice the seam um well we'll see let's see what we have on this piece let's go to contour because if that's the only seam you have in this four foot project i guarantee you no one's going to notice that that uh that her hair has a seam in it, a tiny one. I don't mean one that goes like across, right? Um, okay, so this one is really close. Yeah, this one. So her bangs are gonna need that cut. But once we do that cut, because we're really close, we're at 14 and a half by 11, this little cut right here, so a deliberate seam. So this one's gonna be a deliberate seam as opposed to this one where we're gonna slice it and just piece it back together and hope that no one notices because it will be the only seam that you have besides the black background, which you can barely see because that, that's gonna be minor. You're gonna have beautiful red card, um, glitter cardstock. She's gonna look adorable, right? So I'm just going to do this. I'm gonna pick like right here. I feel like this little section is super thin and I can have a seam there and push it up. The two red glitter cardstock pieces pushed up next to each other. No one's going to notice that seam. And where is that piece? It's right here. I think it will be fine. Okay. So let's delete this. Delete this. So here's our little piece. This is five by five, pretty much. This one is seven. Let's see if, if I rotate this. Oh, it's still too big. Oh, too big. Ah, oh, I can't. It's still too big big by just a little bit too 11.8 by 12.1 we're like so close oh i take that back so you can't slice it right there that won't work so go back to what we originally were going to do which is slice it up here Break it up into two pieces. So the hair needs to be one piece, two pieces, three, four, five, six, six pieces for it to be, for it to work. Darn. I felt like it was going to be so good. <laughs> but all right, I hope that was helpful. Kind of gives you this um, understanding of how my mind works when I'm looking to do an off the map project. Um, questions, comments, special requests. I'd love to hear it from you guys. And if you still have questions about like that made no sense, um, one of these days I'm probably going to do, ah, you know what? I can't do this on a live. Maybe I'll do a YouTube live, um, because I can't share my screen on Instagram live to show you design space. So, all right. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for joining. Bye.